Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. We are going to build the next Toyota Tacoma today. If you didn't know, Toyota's build website or configurator, I've seen it called, is actually open now. You can go in and spec out your 2024 Toyota Tacoma. Now, I built one previous video. It was the SR, and it came to a total cost of $38,890. Now, that's without tax or title or anything extra, dealer markup, $38,890. If you want to see what I added and see the bill, check out the previous video. Today, we're going to build the next one in the round of trucks, and that is going to be the SR5. Now, what we've got here, I've got the screen up in front of me, of course, and in front of you. This is the 2024 SR5. Base MSRP is $36,200. It's rated at 21 miles per gallon and 26 miles per gallon. And it says here it comes in an extra cab, six-foot bed, double cab, five-foot bed, and double cab, six-foot bed. Wow, that, that sucker must be pretty long. Now, we're going to go ahead. I've already selected the SR5, as you can see here. So next up, we're going to go ahead and uh, click the next step. And you have two options here. Uh, the double cab with five-foot bed. It's funny. I thought there were three or four options. But anyway, double cab with five-foot bed. That is 60.3 inches long, 56.4 inches wide, 44.7 inches between the wheel wells. Uh, and up to, this still cracks me up, up to 21.2 inches deep. I thought they were standard, the bed depth. I didn't know that it could vary. So far, I haven't seen it. Or you can pick an extra cab with a six-foot bed, 73.5 inches long, 56.4 inches wide, still 44.7 inches at the wheel wells, the width. And uh, again, that 21.2 inches deep. I don't know. So we're going to select what I think is the more common and what I would select, and that is the double cab with a five-foot bed. So let's hit that. We'll see what pops up next here. Uh, I got to hit the next step, I guess. Powertrain. Well, you have two choices here. You have the iForce 2.4 liter uh, turbocharged engine with rear wheel drive. It's an eight speed transmission, 278 horsepower. Let's see, 317 pound feet of torque. Uh, direct fuel injected, blah, blah, blah. And then you have the iForce 2.4 liter with four wheel drive. Uh, this one looks to me to have the same specs. Otherwise, both are eight speed transmission. There is no manual transmission option. In this case, I'm gonna select the four wheel drive because I believe that would be the most popular uh, trim level or version. Now we get to colors. We have displayed, let's see, this is what are they calling this? Supersonic red. It has an upcharge of $425, as you can see down there. Let's go over and see if there's any more. We have ice cap. We have underground, which is kind of a black, celestial silver metallic, black, the red we just mentioned. And then there is a blue crush metallic. Let's take a look at that one. I kind of like that. Uh, there is no upcharge on that one, apparently. Wow, I am surprised. I would go with the Blue Crush Metallic this time around, before I went with a red. Uh, interior, looks like you have a choice. Uh, black, or and you can see what that looks like up above there. Or you can go, what's it called? Boulder Fabric. And you can see what that looks like up above. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any upcharge to this. Let's go up to the price. Let's go back to black and see if it changes. No, there is no upcharge. So in this case, I'm going to go with the bolder fabric. Let's hit the next step. All right, this is where you get all the options and things. We're going to run through this real quick because I talked about them. We'll see if there's anything different. Uh, but I did talk about them on the SR5. First of all, we have the deck rail, rail and cleats. Um, I think I'm going to go with that one. Let's go ahead. That one shows already added. Um, I don't know. Must have picked up from where the SR was. I don't know. Uh, deck rail and cleats with options. That adds mud guards. Not interested. Heated seats with options. 
I live in a very warm climate. Heated seats do me no good, uh, so I'm not going to do that. It would cost you $655. Let's see what else it gives you. Looks like the deck rail system with the cleats and fixed car cargo bed tie-down points. Well, I'm already getting the deck rail and cleats, so I think I'm okay. Heated seats with options for uh, $715. Um, I'm not sure what more that gives you, actually. It looks to me, let's check the 655 version. Uh, four adjustable tie-down cleats, heated seats, and mud guards. So if you go with the heated seats with options for the $715 price, uh, you get mud guards as well. Let's move on, see what else we can pick from. SR5 upgrade with options. Um, not sure what all that is. Let's see. It says deck rail system with the cleats and all. SR5 upgrade, including leather trim steering wheel and shift knob, JBL premium audio with JBL flex portable speaker. That's that little speaker that kind of sits in the dash area. It's a gimmick. Um, home link universal transceiver that would be nice wireless charging i don't care automatic climate control can be nice front and rear park assist with automatic braking led bed lights bed lights would be nice easy lower tailgate that must be electronic i'm guessing integrated trailer brake controller and power horizontal uh rear window uh, for $3,075, I think I'll pass. Here's the next one. And let's see. It's the SR5 upgrade package with options. It's now up to $3,135. Looks like they add mud guards in here. Uh, real quick, anything else? Oh, the cleats, the bed tie downs, all that stuff. I wouldn't buy that one either. Here's another SR5 upgrade for $3,660 now. Um, what more do you really get? Um, I don't really know if I see anything else. Let's see if they note anything here. Just the SR5 upgrade package, deck rail and cleats, heated seats. Must be dependent upon what other options you get, because I don't see more. But we can go over here and add another upgrade package uh, for $3,720. And again, it really looks like a lot of the same stuff. Without delving more into it and making the video three and a half hours long, I'm not going to go any further. None of those do anything for me. Here's the SR5 upgrade plus cold weather package. Um, what is that going to give us? Cold weather package double cab includes heated front seats, leather trim, steering wheel, uh, all the same kind of stuff. LED bed lights, easy lower tailgate. Uh, adjustable tie downs. I don't really see a whole lot of other stuff there either. So kind of odd. Uh, and then we have the same kind of thing going on here. So we can spend 3810 3870 I'm not going to pick any of those because none of those really turn me on. So we're going to click the next step. Uh, predator steps, ball mount. That would be for the hitch on the rear. Oval tube step, spray in bed liner. Again, with this spray on bed liner. It's a, it's a plastic bed. I mean, a composite plastic. Why would you put a bed liner in it? I, I don't know. Connectivity kit, kit carpeted floor mats, power uh, bed step, non-powered, vehicle protection package. Let's look at that real quick just for kicks because I didn't on the SR. It says here it includes paint renewer cleaner, paint renewer cleaner, paint sealant, fabric guard. Buy yourself a can of Scotch Guard, spray it in yourself, and don't worry about the rest. I would not buy that myself. Um, blackout package. I like that for the wheels. Let's see if that means anything. It includes tailgate insert and black badge overlays for $400. No way, man. Go to Tough Skins uh, or online for uh, the overlay type things. There's That's crazy money. Uh, steps, the black exhaust, uh, tip. Uh, I like that, but I wouldn't spend 119 bucks for it. More carpeted mats, uh, dash cam, and it looks like that's it. Um, there's your options. Now, that looks like the end for us. 
So let's take a, a quick look here, what we've got. It's a 2024 Tacoma SR5, four-wheel drive, 2.4 liter, turbocharged engine, eight-speed automatic, double cab, five-foot bed. Uh, the only thing I added to this one, and it's the same as the last one, uh, are the deck rail and cleats, delivery and processing, handling, $1,495. That brings us to a grand total of $41,965 for an SR5. We're not even to the, the pre-runner or the uh, TRD versions yet. Those will be coming up next. Make sure you check out the channel. I'm going to run these through until we're done. Leave a comment. Let me know. For an SR5, with only $70 added to it, minus any dealer additions and tax and title, $41,965. Would you pay it? Leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.